from the hundreds where a frog got his fucking tongue And I'm from the hundreds where K-Dog was a fucking dog But I'm from the hundreds where a pops got his fucking pop And I'm from the hundreds where a fool was a fucking fool And I'm from the hundreds, Rosemore, Roseland, West Pullman And I'm from the hundreds, so you know how we do it I appreciate everybody tapping in with Flaco Santana TV Hit that like, subscribe, share button. Make sure y'all tapping in with my other channel too, Flacco Santana TV too. They both busting at the end of the day. I'm finna turn them all the way up. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all rocking there with me. You know, unseen, unheard content only on my my channel. Straight up. Y'all go tell Say Cheese. Y'all go tell Vlad. Y'all go tell DJ Academics. You know what I'm saying? Flacco Santana TV. Over busting. Straight up. So with that being said, uh, I'm showing y'all right now pictures of Mr. Larry Hoover. And I want y'all to understand that, you know, he's a political prisoner. He he should be free. He definitely deserves another opportunity at life, you know, uh, experiencing freedom straight up. You know, same with this brother right here, Chief Malik. You know, Jeff Ford, same thing. He's a political prisoner. He deserves to be free. He deserves a second chance at life. Like, for real. So let's get into the misconceptions and the misunderstandings. So what people have to understand is this, that this misconception of Larry Hoover being a stone, a black stone, have been passed down for years, generations, decades. It's a folk folklore, like real talk is made up, right? But we going I ain't gonna just sit here and say it's made up and not show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what it is. So Jeff Ford compiled a, a round table, you could say of brothers, you know, who were going to be under the banner of Blackstone, you know, like Mickey Cogwell, you know what I'm saying? That's how you got, you know, at that time, you know, Cobra Stones, you know what I'm saying? You had different brothers, you know, who had different, you know what I'm saying, names, but it, it all had stones, Jet Blackstones, Apache Stones, you feel what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with it? So, Jeff Ford came up with the main 21. The story go that Larry Hoover was part of the main 21, and then when he left, it became 20. 20 uh, bricks in the pyramid, and, you know, that's one, one of the reasons, the most say 20 of them. I said one of the reasons. If you know the 20th key, that's the reason. But you see right here, it's a Larry Hoover, Jeff Ford. They got a picture of Larry Hoover, or they saying that's Larry Hoover. And then a picture of Jeff Ford. And then at the top, for those who don't know the truth. So they really think there's Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford, right? But it's a lot of people who think like that, though. It's a lot of people, you know, who have been thinking like that for a very long time. And like I say, you know, this ain't to stir up nothing or, you know, turn anybody up against each other. We are brothers and sisters at the end of the day. We just going through some history. This uh, Prince Wakita. Uh, Chief Malik, Jeff Ford's son, in the middle is Big P, that's King David's son, and then that's Larry Bernard Jr., Larry Hoover's son. Uh, Big P, supposed to be King David's uh, son, and, you know, some people say that's not really King David's son. I'm going to interview him, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to get him on Flacco Santana TV, and we're going to, you know, let him speak his piece. But you see this Larry Bernard uh, Hoover Jr. right here with Prince Waikita. And for all y'all who keep saying, on oh, Larry Bernard Hoover, on oh, Larry Bernard Hoover, that's Larry Bernard Hoover right there. That's Larry Bernard Hoover. That's his son name. Larry Hoover don't have Bernard in his middle name. So for all y'all out there who been saying, on oh, Larry Bernard Hoover, on oh, Larry Bernard Hoover, y'all talking about his son, and that's him right there with Chief Malik's son, Prince Waikita. 
Straight up. So that's some clarity right there. Get that understanding. And we finna get into this video with his other son talking about, you know, his father being a stone and things of that nature. Let's get it. Like I said, he idolized Jeff Ford. So he went to a meeting. And um so let me go back. It was it was stones in the neighborhood at the time. And in his neighborhood, it was King Cobras. They were up under the King Cobras, but they were always gangsters. And as young gangsters up under the King Cobras, they, weren't, they were not stones, but they were kind of under the stones. They was like, almost like junior stones, but they weren't stones. So they went to a meeting, and at this meeting, Larry met Jeff. And at the meeting, I guess, I don't know if Jeff was putting people in place or what have you, but he was actually interested and he wanted to be a, um, a main 21. Jeff wanted him to be an ambassador, but he wasn't trying to be an ambassador. So he went back on doing as he was doing and it was a guy. So you hear what the son is saying, hey, you know, uh, my dad, he looked up to Jeff Ford and they was like future stones, even though they wasn't officially stones and they was something else. And, you know, Jeff asked them, you know, to be an ambassador. And my dad said no. And, you know, this, that, and the other. You feel me? So now let's listen to co chairman Ike Taylor and let's see what he got to say about this situation. You know, but that's what, back, you know, that's what, uh, I don't want to say that's what gangsters do, right? But it go back to our roots. All for one. One ball. Oh, one boy, ball. I heard you say, yeah. I, I, not only I read your lips, I heard that. All right. That's right. That's real. That's real, right there. You know. So but as far as Larry yeah. or his supreme gangsters, the original, never. A Blackstone Ring. Yeah, we met with Jeff. We attended his, his church meetings. Even when Oscar Brown Jr. was doing the dancing and all that shit, we supported that from the penitentiary. Now, you heard what Ike Taylor, the retired co chairman of the Gangster Disciples, said. He was there back in them days. He was there. He said they never was no stones. Larry Hoover never was no stones. The Supreme Gangsters was never no stones. None of that. This is the original main 21 right here. You don't see Larry Hoover name on none of it. Nothing at all. Matter of fact, understand that Larry Hoover had an invitation to be the ambassador. An ambassador is not the main, it's not a main 21. So he declined that offer. So I'm finna let y'all hear his son, you know, break down the history again and listen to what he say because what he said is very important. So it's important that you listen. Listen to learn, learn to listen. Let's get it. One black town, black feast on Travis Crew, but they wanted to make him just a, a low man on the totem pole, an ambassador. And he didn't agree for that. So as life went on, David Watsdale, who was the leader of the disciples, he came in with the idea that if the gangsters and the disciples came together for one, but he came with the idea of bringing them together as both kings, which he agreed upon, which shared the power equally. But he came with the idea that if the gangsters and the black disciples came together, that would take away some of the bloodshed and the things that was going on in the community. So when they came together, they merged and they formed the Black Gangster Disciples, which later became just Gangster Disciples. But as Black Gangster Disciples, even at that time, they did all the marketing in the community. It was a chain of supermarkets that was selling bad meat in the community. You know, they marched to shut down the supermarkets. It was on um, Martin Luther King. They marched with Martin Luther King. It was the, the Lords, Stones, and Disciples that 
Marshall and Martin Luther King, they were the ones that wasn't scared. It was 80% of them, it was the guys from the community that was marching to, uh, you know, to march against the injustices that was going on. So again, you heard it from his son, you know, like Larry Hoover was not a stone. You know, Jeff Ford asked him to be an ambassador of the Gangster Stones. Jeff Ford was trying to unite the gangsters and the stones, bring them together, but Larry Hoover denied it. And this picture right here is not Larry Hoover. That's actually, I want to say, a uh, brother they were saying name, uh, Chief Boom. Chief Boom. If I'm incorrect, hey, I definitely can be corrected. You know, uh, leave his name down in the comments. But I want to say his name is Chief Boom, you know, and that is not Larry Hoover. I can see how people might say they kind of favor each other, you know, but no. Nah, you know, we want to get y'all the history correct, get y'all the history right, you know what I'm saying, on Flacco Santana TV at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see the uh, picture you know, with the main 21, Mickey Cogwell, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple brothers I want to do a story on, you know what I'm saying? One of them, one of the main 21 testified against the Stones when they when they got the money. Real talk. But y'all see, you know how they got the, the branches connected? You don't see Larry connected to none of that like that. But check out Prince Old Time. I was very instrumental and the disciples and the gangsters coming together. When I went to jail in 1968 for failure to register a gun and unlawful use of a weapon, I met David Box there while I was in the House of Correction. We was at odds when we first met. After a while, he began to love me and I began to love him as my brother. When I came out of jail in 69, uh, Hoover was the ambassador of the Stones. We had a nation meeting of the gangsters, and I said I wasn't going to be no Stone. That night, Hoover called Jeff Ford and told him that uh, he could no longer be a, be a Stone or ambassador of the Stone. Wait a minute. Hoover called, who called who now? Say that again. Hoover called Jeff Ford. Right. And told him that he could no longer be a uh, affiliated with the stone and, and, and I believe he did that out of his love for me the next day Jeff came to 68 degrees and wanted to try to straighten it out we wouldn't hear of it so he left with a little anger about six months six months later six or seven months later with me talking to Larry and me also keeping in contact with David, I had a chance to bring them together. And we sat and we decided that we would, it would be an equal partnership. That's how it got to be two kings and two princes. Name the two kings and name the two princes. David Boxdale and Larry Hoover combined makes up the king of the Black Gangster Disciples. Tennessee and a brother named Old Timer was their prince, their second in charge. Rest in peace to Prince Tennessee. Real talk. But I got to disagree with this one. As far as him saying, hey, you know, well, you know something, if you listen to what he said, he wasn't saying Larry was a stone. He was saying, hey, I was telling Larry that, hey, I can't be no stone. And it does, I mean, everybody is saying through history shows that Larry, even his son said, hey, my dad looked up to Jeff Ford and, you know, Jeff Ford had a meeting. My dad went to it. They asked him to be an ambassador, and he declined it. So that could be how Tennessee was, you know, in that conversation. Hey, he was just telling him, like, hey, bro, I know you want to join the Stones, but I ain't with it. You feel me? So 
right here. I want y'all to read this. So I want y'all to read this. It says, at 15 years old, Hoover formed a super gang, more than a thousand members. Gangsters Nation were ordered to hold their ground against the rival gangs. Three years later, in January of 1969, Hoover merged with Black P-Stones, creating the Gangster Stones. That's not true. That's not true because in 1969, that's when King David and Larry Hoover came together to form BGDN. So that only didn't make sense. And that one stands some misconception. There were people looking up in Google. There were people asking in Google, were Larry Hoover a stone? So that's why I have to expound on these things. And see, this brother I'm showing y'all right now, this is Prince Moosman. Prince Moosman. You know what I'm saying? This brother right here, he was over the Gangsta Stones. This was the brother who was over the Gangsta Stones. Real talk. Straight up. So understand it. Definitely from my hood, it was Gangsta Stones, Cross the Tracks. You know what I'm saying? Over there, uh, off Coilers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I really want to say they, they used to call 104th and Cottage uh, the Mecca. Real talk, because it was Gangsta Stones over there. And then you got, you know, the Gangsta Stones who was up in LT, London Town. Shout out London Town. You know, I'm from across the tracks. We all, you know, 10 track gangsters. But besides all that, though, you know, I'm just giving y'all the history. You know what I'm saying? Of Gangsta Stones, Moose Men. Check out my interview, you know, with his daughter. Like, real talk. So you can understand how everything came about. Straight up. He came from the west side. Came from the projects. Came to the hundreds. Came to my hood. Brought Gangsta Stones to my hood. And turned it up. You feel me? But Larry Hoover never was no stone. Larry Hoover never started no Gangsta Stones. Larry, Larry Hoover was never no main 21. Larry Hoover never accepted a position from Jeff Ford. This is the brother. P. Moose, Prince Moose, Moose Man. This is the man right here. So, everybody got to get their they facts straight. Real talk. Even when, you know, brothers and sisters trying to diss the guys, you know, when y'all be trying to say, you know, calling us derogatory names, it can't be that. Larry Hoover never was no part of the pyramid. He never was no brick. It's all made up. Real talk. So, people just got to get their history uh, right. I mean, nobody should be dissing anybody, but... You know, growing up and, and, and going against the ops and hearing certain things, you know, people are always trying to refer to, you know, us as bricks. Like, y'all the bricks, y'all bricks. You know, Larry Hoover used to be a stone and whoop-de-whoop-whoop, but no, nah, my dude, you got the wrong history. So let me go ahead and give it to you straight up. Let me give it to you, the proper understanding. So right here you're going to see, you know, in the blueprint, it's breaking it down. The whole situation, how everything went about, you know, it's telling you, hey, Jeff Ford offered Larry Hoover a position to be the ambassador over the Gangster Stones. Uh, Jeff wanted to uh, bring the Gangsters and the Stones together. Larry Hoover denied it. He declined it. And he went, you know, and formed uh, an alliance with King David. And started BGDN. You know, so. I just had to clear up that misconception. Larry Hoover never was no stone. No junior stone. He never was part of Black Stones. Uh, none of that. None of that. Like real talk. You know. Free. Larry Hoover. Free. Jeff Ford. They political prisoners. I appreciate everybody tapping in. The Flacco Santana TV. Hit that like, subscribe, share button. I just had to clear this misconception up though. Because 
for generations, for years, decades, people been seeing this. And it ain't right at the end of the day. So, you know, I hope I brought some clarity to you about it. Like I say, free these political prisoners. These brothers deserve a second chance, a second opportunity at life to be free, to enjoy life, to enjoy their family. They old in there. Free these brothers. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Till next time. Peace.